Hail and greetings all, Ragnarok Prepper here with Bugga. And today we're going to show you how to make an evergreen wreath. And then we're going to let Booga decorate it. It's alright, you can leave them right there. And we'll just pick them up as a big pile. Of pine needles in your log. Pine needles for the log. I don't know what this is. We're making the wreath. Uh. Might. These ones we can this get. One this one doesn't hurt as much. This is like soft. Mm hmm. I have a bunch. We just started and now there's a bunch. Mm-hmm. We're lucky to have such big pine trees. Well, there's a bunch of pine trees grow. Mm-hmm. They almost don't live here. We all get, we have a bunch of deers here if the deers live here. Yep. All right, so to form our main circle of the wreath, we're going to use this branch here. It's pretty pliable. And though it's not necessary, it's always nice to have a structural basis when you're making a wreath. Or if we use this very big. There we go. So I think we have enough to get started, Booga. Let's go back and, to the cabin. And here's this. So, here is our, what's going to be our structural branch to get that nice circular shape. We want to make sure that when we select it, that it's not going to be a branch that snaps. Then you won't have your circle. So, what I want you to do, Booga, is go ahead. And grab that wire for me. And this is just wire from rolls of hard wire cloth. You could use floral wire. You could really use any kind of wire that you want. So you hold that booger. I'm going to get this out. Can you open that up? Yeah. Go ahead, pull. We're going to open it together. Now you, yep. All right, give me a piece of, pull out some of that wire that and we're going to go ahead and secure the vine to itself using the wire we're just going to do a wrap and twist like so You're going to need another piece there, Booga. Right. I think I saw one say. I saw it like twice. I think it was that bird with that. Right. Because it was like big. Right. We're going to go ahead and snip our excess. Don't throw that away. We'll be using it. Any extra branches that are sticking out? It's not taking. It's six. That looks like six. A six. Yeah, it does look like a six, doesn't it? Exactly. We're going to chop that off, so don't worry. So we have our circle. Think 
for now, I'll just go for the saw. Alright, you grab me the saw. Thank you. have our six anymore do we yeah and make it as circular as possible if you're lost mm -hmm. you like lose heads for fire ah, you bring them survival tips yeah good job it's important they have fire in this weather huh yeah you wouldn't be able to survive without it and then you need to go hunt food mm-hmm First, first you have to build a shelter for that. Yeah, <laughs> look at those. That's part of what that one is. Alright. So then what we're going to do, this is like we want to get these main strips. This will be like a loop for, and like for a stunt. Let's yeah. jump for it. Where's that wire you have, Booger? Right here. Oh. I was at, I was at right here. Birds are getting happy the sun's coming out. Yeah. I see the eyes all two birds over there. Mm hmm. I was circling from over Go there. Ahead. Grab another branch like so. And that will be a big circle. Mm -hmm. You're going to need another piece of wire. Thank you. Just keep bending that along there. So we need another piece of wire. And now it's hard. Now it's hard. Mm -hmm. I just got another wire in this case. If I was lost, I'll lose this too. Like, so, like, my stuff don't fall. I was losing the mm -hmm. tire. Now we can grab another piece. We'll do the same thing. So to hide the ends, what we do is we take and tuck them into the greenery and then wire here. 